Okay, hello guys. Um, just, sorry about the screen. Just okay. What happened last episode? I uploaded it and I realized that um it didn't capture my microphone for some reason. I'm not sure why. And it's like a 49 minute video, so I don't want to just uh, do an audio commentary for all of it. Or well, maybe I could, <laughs> but I don't know if I want to spend 50 minutes doing that. <laughs> maybe we can skip through a little bit. So uh, guys, if you're watching this, this is like a episode 33. Um, we had just defeated Goma, is it? And we're on our way to the next island, which is south. And I'm just gonna skip through it. <laughs> just so you guys can at least hear some vo voice of it. Um, so, I'm in my boat. <laughs> Alright, let's just skip through a little bit. Okay, here's this fishy guy. Wait, let's go back a little bit. <laughs> I don't know where you got your mitts on that sea chart you got there, but it looks to me like it's pretty much nothing but seas drawn on it. It's pathetic, in fact, it's almost an insult to call that thing a sea chart, if you ask me. What's the matter, small fry? I'm just trying to be nice here. I'm telling you that you're, you've got a problem, and you do. Don't give me that stupefied look. It makes you look like you ought to be in diapers. Just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you what I know about this island, so open up your sea chart and make it Snappy. There's a real peculiar cave towards the backside of this here Dragon Roost Island. Yeah, real peculiar, but I doubt you'll ever get there to see it, small fry. Unless you manage to spout wings and fly, that is. Because you won't be getting there otherwise. That's all I can teach you, small fry. But I will do this for you, since I'm feeling so generous. I'll send word to all my brethren living near the islands of the Great Sea. Good bunch of fish. If you see a fish leaping out of the water when you sail near an island, sail up to it and spread bait out on the water's surface. Trust me, this is good advice, fry. See, the baiting process allows you to get a chart of the island along with any info that might be of use to you. I highly recommend you make a habit of doing so. See, you're definitely going to need a reliable sea chart to help you search for things out at sea. I can't kind of emphasize that enough, Rai. You need a well-drawn chart. If you don't get a chart for every island you come across, it'll just be a bigger hassle for you later on. Now don't say I never did anything for you, Fry. Hey, you're, you there, you kingly red lion guy. That's it, I've repaid my debt. I'm done. You take care of the rest. Okay, so I figured out from that that I have to spread bait. When I go to a new island, if I see a fish jumping in the water, I swim it towards it and then I chuck some bait down and then he'll give me a map of the island. Okay, so then after that, I'm gonna head south. Uh, just checking my chart, heading south. Because I made the wind go south. Now look, check this out. Check this weather out. Pretty cool. Yeah, such a shame. I lost my audio for this video. <laughs> but I thought I'd do this video just to make it a little bit better. Not really. Okay, let's go back a little bit. Forest Haven, we've arrived at the next island, which is south. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean's surface. But it was a sacred place. It is inside this grotto that you will find the spirit of the earth, the great Deku tree. <laughs> you must speak with the Deku tree and receive him from the sacred gem known as Faror's Pearl. <laughs> I, hear, I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached this most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Tun. Okay, so then I was swimming around. I found the fish. I'm gonna chuck him some bait. Hey, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want a chart and then information about this island. <gasps> then start by opening up your sea chart. Forest Haven. 
just a wee bit north of this island, I've sometimes seen a merchant of incredible girth with a monstrous pack on his back. Now what could he be doing on it, Lonely? I tell you, there are some strange folk in this world, Fry. And that's all the info. <laughs> if you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait in the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. I can't go fighting evil on, evil on an empty stomach. And with that, I'm off. Okay, so now I'm going to head to the island. I think I'll swim in around looking for the merchant for a while. Did I find it? Okay, I found... And basically I bought some bait from this guy. Some bait and these pears. He had some mail for me. Good evening. Letters for Tony? You have one letter. Here's your letter. To my son, Superior. Thank you very much for looking after my boy. This isn't much, but I hope you'll accept it all the same. I politely request you c your continued kindness towards my son, Kashiko, Baito's mother. And I, I still don't know who Baito is. <laughs> I don't remember. You got a piece of heart. That's a fourth piece, completing another heart container. Your life energy has increased by one heart. Cool. Alright, so then I started exploring the island, hitting these things. Alright. This is the source of the evil plant's magic. Perhaps it can find someone in the, to cook it up. Its magic can be unleashed. So then I got to the top here and I wasn't sure what to do next. And then I realized I had to swing across. See, I found that thing to swing across on. Swung across. And then this thing started shooting at me. And I was like, what? What am I supposed to do now? What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> and then I, I saw this thing up here that I could swing across. But I thought that I'd just have to time it in between shots or something, but it wasn't working. So eventually, after much death, and then this is me trying to remember how to turn, because you know how like I'm swinging this direction, I need to go the other, I couldn't work it out, like the controls. <laughs> Took me a little while. Finally got back, and then I realized if I tried using the shield, so if I go in the water, it makes me go in the waterfall. But if I use the shield, I can block the shot from this dude that's firing stuff at me. Okay, you didn't see it. I did it just before. Ugh. Ugh, knocked off. <laughs> Die. Watch me, watch me, watch me. I'll block you. Shield. No, this is not the shield one, is it? I'm pretty sure I got hit again. When did I work out the shield? Is it here? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Pow! Took him out. <laughs> cool. And then I swung across this thing. Swung across. Then I wasn't sure how to get across here, but I think there was another thing to swing across, maybe. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm uh, not sure how I got across. Hmm. Maybe there is something to swing across. Up, look up, look up. Yeah, that's how I swung across. So then I swung across. Oi, right, go back a bit. Swung across. Grab this thing. Whack it. I was hoping for a heart, but I didn't get a heart. So I'm still down to 2 out of 5. Whoa. Then I went inside the tree. I was gonna stop here, but then um, something just happened. I saw a lily pad or something. Big tree inside. I climbed. See, I saw that lily pad. I was like, I need to get, I need to get on that lily pad before I quit. Yeah, see the lily pad? I was like, I need to jump on that. That's all I need to do. And then I was going to stop, but then a whole other thing happened. See? There's this tree here. With a face. And had these things on him. So, just by watching I knew this was trouble. <laughs> so then I was like, okay, I need to... I wasn't quite sure what to do after this.
I thought I would use my grappling hook, but it didn't work. Nope. <laughs> I don't know how, but this dude just gave me a hint. What are you doing, Twin? Quickly, you must jolt those things, creatures off, train creatures off the Deku Tree's face. Do you not know how to knock them down? And then when he said knock them down, I just immediately thought of running into them. And you know how you knock down those pots and stuff? <laughs> so then I came off, and then I whacked them. Can you do that? Okay. So then he started talking to me in this other language. I didn't understand a word. Mm. I must apologize, I was in error. I saw your clothing and suddenly I felt a la longing for an age gone by, that longing caused by the ancient tongue to pass my lips. I am the guardian spirit of this forest haven, the Deku Tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of those foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the king of red lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? <laughs> so it is true. Then you have come here because you have need of the pearl of the goddess. I see, I knew there was a reason the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand it. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Koroks, little children of the woods, this traveller is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. <laughs> what do you call yourself? Tun? Well then, Tun, these are the Koroks, the spirits of the forest. Once upon a time long ago, the Koroks took on human form, but when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Now they hear, fear people. But to me, they will ever be my cherished little children. As it happens, you have come just in time for a ceremony that the Koroks hold but once every year. It is about to begin. I shall grant the pearl to the one you once their ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but it is the ceremony is not completed soon. And Ill, an ill fate could befall us. So let it begin. Are you ready, my children? We are not. Oh, great Deku Tree. Something terrible has happened. It is Maka. Maka. What is the matter, Linda? You and Maka are always late. No, it is not that, oh, great Deku Tree. Maka fell into the Forbidden Woods. What? The Forbidden Woods? I told him to be careful, a silver car flew above the Forbidden Woods, and as he drew close to it... <laughs> foolish little Makar. Tun, have you heard all this? The Forbidden Woods are right beside this hallowed island of our forest haven. Those woods, the whole region is a vile place that is home to evil beasts. And now it seems they have taken a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of the Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? But Great Deku Tree, people cannot fly through the air. Ah yes, thank you child. You are right. It is not possible to enter those woods from the sea, is it? Tun, I would guess from your size that you are heavier than my Korok children, yet I think we may still be able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly towards the sky. Ah, 
<laughs> I like that. That was cool. Hmm. Forgive me, Tun, but could you climb up to my crown and get the leaf from up there? So this part was really cool. Did you know this flower? It's called a babu bu baba bud. You can stand in front of it and tilt the blah blah blah. And this peculiar habit of th th throwing you up in the air after you jump into them. So you can use them to jump up to hard to reach places. So I stepped into this flower. It fires me up. It's pretty cool. And then from there I realized you could go to the next one. And I also mentioned that if this is real life, I'd be like, it'd be both pretty, I don't know. I'd be probably scared of getting, because it gets really high. Like, he is fine, right? But then it gets higher and higher. <laughs> so if you drop, you land on the ground. Ouch. So you get the idea, right? <laughs> See how it just gets higher and higher? I wasn't sure what to do from this one. I can't remember what we did. I thought that was a rope, but it wasn't. Apparently not. So then I figured maybe it's that. And it was. A little platform to land on. Wow, you're, you're quite good at that, Mr. Knight. Just keep doing that until you get all the way to the top. If you shoot out facing the wrong direction, don't panic. If you don't tilt in any direction, you'll land safely back in the bubble bud. Trying to work out where to jump from here. Oh, I think I swung onto that one. So once again, I'll say if this was real life, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> Took me a while to get the angle right on this one, I think. Took me ages. It's gonna let me uh, skip through. Oh, okay. And so from there, I had to go to that one. Through that. Must have fallen. So here, I need to line. Oh, that's the final one. <laughs> it's pretty high up. Yes, landed on it. Cool. You got the Deku Leaf. Set it to and use it with those buttons. Plant your feet on the ground and use it to blow blasts of air at objects and enemies. You can also jump up in the air and use your magic powder to drift on the currents of the wind. Swordsman, over there. That's where I'm trying to go. Please, you must fly over here, over there to use, to here using the Deku Leaf. And then I did. Equipped it. <laughs> and then I worked out that there's a time limit on how long you can glide up for. Okay, let's try that again. I think it took me a few goes actually. So up here, see there's like a time limit in the green? It's not long. <laughs> And I didn't know that you had to push. <laughs> you actually have to move while you're up in the air to glide. Oh wait, let's watch that again. The epic moment. Ready? 
go. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. Over the line and then down. Yay, made it. And so I ended the let's play there. Very good, Mr. Swordsman. You already mastered using the Defu Leaf. But since you're so much heavier than we are, you can't fly very far, can you? How unfortunate. Well, anyway, this is the exit that leads towards the forbidden woods where our father who take care of my car. Okay, and I ended the let's play there, I think. I went through the door and then I ended it, I'm pretty sure. So there we have that episode with sound. <laughs> yeah, just figured it'd be a bit too quiet without the audio commentary. <laughs> so I figured that I have to fly across to those spots, maybe, or something. I'll work it out next, next time. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, and then I talk to this guy. Congratulations, swordsman. It appears you've finally gotten the De Deku Leaf. That eerie looking island over there is home to the Forbidden Woods. Makara is trapped somewhere within there. You'll have to float over to the entrance from here using your Deku Leaf. But when you have fl you're flying with the Deku Leaf, you're at the mercy of the wind. If the wind can't carry you there, you'll fall into the sea below you. It only If only the wind were blowing in the direction to carry you there. Check the wind data. Okay, so I think that's where we'll end the let's play. I think that's where we ended it. Pretty sure. And then, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.